Hey, friends and family. We are in a station called Meheribi. I think I said it right. You, you know what? You should already be used to me saying stuff like that. But hey, um, uh, I'm back in Sweden. I'm here again. <laughs> um, the last time I was here in Stockholm, Sweden, I was living in 2021, last year. Now it's 2022, right? Back uh, last time I was here, I had to follow a dress code because of work. Uh, so now I had to act different too. And now I'm no longer part of that. Goodbye, government life, st stable job. <laughs> now I'm able to be able to go off on my own and explore far away places like this place in the middle of nowhere which some of you are probably wondering why am I in the middle of Meheribi it's a little town and I'll tell you why so I want you to guess and look forward be sitting down eating some popcorn because I am back in Sweden everything I know will be gone in a minute and that's all right all right cause I'm free so as I walk through this quiet town it is like a little, a little early in the morning. Usually, most shops don't open up till, like big shops don't open up till like ten. The restaurant here doesn't open up till like, what I think, eleven. Yeah. So I'm gonna go try to find some place to eat, but uh, this place is pretty quiet. Which shouldn't be a surprise. When you start living, you leave Stockholm. A lot of places are pretty quiet. Um, so I want to share with y'all some things of what not to do. Um, on your trip over here. And I'm talking about this journey we're doing right now. Is uh, the mistake I made. You can have your SL card. You, to get here, you're going to go from whatever station you're coming from and you want to go to Uppsala Central Station. From there, your SL card will work. But after, and you're trying to get to, uh, I guess the place is called Yavla, or Gavla. This place right there, right there. Um, you need to purchase a ticket, a separate ticket. And uh, you want to use the app, which I will tell you the name. Maratag, Moletag. Use that app. And you can buy your ticket. All right, so don't make the same mistake like me because I didn't buy it. And the lady, very, very patient with me, very kind, lovely lady. Um, she gave me a second chance instead of kicking me off the, the train um, and uh, waited for me to purchase. So, just give you guys a little bit of a heads up. Alright, let's walk through this very quiet little town. Alright, so, ironically enough, I came to Sweden last year, just about beginning uh, September. Um, I have also, this year, I got here at the start of October. So, kind of ironic that I'm back at the same time, same season. <laughs> I've missed the summer that everyone keeps raving about. But uh, the last adventures when I was here last year, got to show you the Viking village of Bjerka and, and Sweden's uh, 
city of Sigtuna and Stockholm and Vaxholm and you know those sort of places. So we're going to be able to continue on our journey around Sweden now that I'm a free man not working for the government. Um, so now I'm going to go try to get some warm drink in my body, some hot cocoa so we can feel comfortable going to this next journey I'm going to be showing y'all. Alrighty, so let's go. Well, my friends and family, we're gonna try to figure out if it's possible to get in here. But uh, this is place is called Dragon's Den. Excuse me, my bad. Dragon's Gate. This is what this place is called. There is a gas station that's out in front. Boom. Strange and odd. It kind of turn this place into a business. So, what is this place known for? Let me tell you. This is Dragon's Gate. And uh, this place is uh, desolate. Loss, lots of loss and money. A failed business. A destroyed pride. And a place on top of a lot of scandals and it's interesting it's a little piece of China here in Sweden <laughs> we're gonna try to figure out if we're able to get inside this place is pretty upkept for being abandoned camera up there okay yeah I'm scouting it out right now try to figure out if there's a way in and uh, it makes me question I, I have nothing but questions it's abandoned right abandoned and everything looks pretty locked up you already saw the lock on there Okay, I don't think he did, but I'll show you. I'll show you inside one of the, the restaurants. That was the restaurant. There's still things in there, but uh, the door doesn't open. And look, this is pretty locked up. Look at this. It's a big ass lock. That's a heavy duty one. There's a. There's quite a bit of cameras around, which is strange. And what's also more strange, like what is this truck doing here? Is it just resting? Look at this. What? I heard something in there. Look at this. What are these vehicles doing here? Yal? Does that mean that's a Wi Fi spot or what? Yale? What are these vehicles doing here? Like, so many questions, you know? Like, are people, I'm gonna see, if there's people sleeping in there? No? All right, that just 
drove all the way over here for nothing or something? No, no way. So what it's supposed to be right now, I'm thinking 2018, uh, current owner, his name is Mr. Lee. Kenny, I think his first name is. Well, they had it as like a, a refugee culture. And the, the whole idea of this place was to be opened up to bridge the gap between Scandinavia and uh, China. And the idea had high ambitions for this project. And uh, it was started off turned into museum kung fu monastery restaurant a museum I, I think i already said that yeah and uh then it went bankrupt a hotel now there are rumors that people are staying at the hotel and this place looks like it's pretty pretty buttoned up oh that's an electrical fence is it i've watched videos of people uploading coming here and it was open that was last year does this say electrical yeah this says electrical there's these mysterious vehicles just parked here a lot of cameras. There's an electrical fence. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get inside my friends and family. I'm sorry. But don't worry. Mr. Lee, and I have another way of getting in. Well, at least knowing what I want to see make this trip not just a total disappointment i hope there's not no triads living here because <laughs> uh this place is kind of upkept for being abandoned it really is upkept pretty well let's see what i can do Tag vor Ort und stammende Tierhaus aus. Wir Joba Weil der Ho sagt Stammer, Gorna Tier Igen Ossen um und Nat Hold Hans VSS. Okay. Whatever that means, if someone knows what that means in Swedish, please tell me it down in the comments below. Is uh, I just totally just wing that. Um, this place is very well kept on the outside, at least, for being abandoned. So, this is the year 20 crap, what year is this? 2022. Like those windows look clean as a whistle inside and out. And that, I'm assuming, is the hotel. Like, that's sus, you know? Makes you wonder. And then this is the restaurant. There is an active gas station, though. You see, there's a lot of truck drivers that come here. But that's the restaurant. We can get some good video footage of that inside. It looks kind of creepy. I don't know if you can see that. A lot of souvenirs. Things went on sale. There's, there's t-shirts here, polos. Little Christmas trees over there. Like... Even them um, going out of business, it's still here. Uh, it looks pretty well kept. That's strange.
I'm assuming this is where the monastery was supposed to be. You can see it out in the distance over there. Past this really ugly, get past this ugly lock and why? It's probably because of all the, all the people who are like coming over here and sabotaging, but oh, come on, let me in. I came all the way over here from America. Let me in. But I'm assuming that monastery and the Kung Fu Academy was supposed to be right over there. The red building over there, red walls and everything. And these are probably supposed to be the bricks that they're gonna use to break their heads and practice and train with. Because there's a lot of them that make sense, you know? That's what they do in Kung Fu, right? They, ha! And, ha! Well, this was fun. I mean, I doubt this fence right here is electrical. I mean, let's find out. Nah, it's safe. Somebody jumped here and used the bricks. That's smart. And there's a van out there too, strange. Like, this place went bankrupt. And there's still, like, that vehicle out there doesn't look abandoned. <sighs> Alright. That's the monastery, I'm assuming. Didn't get to see the Terracotta Warriors. There's supposed to be like a couple of hundred makeshift Terracotta Warriors inside the museum, which I'm assuming is somewhere in there. That's the museum area, maybe. Or maybe that's the museum. I think that might be the museum. It has to be, probably. All right, let's go pull out the secret weapon. All right, so this concludes the end. Let's say that 25%. All right. Running through the last of my thoughts. Standing on the edge of my tongue.